Emma Hatfield. Robert Edwards. Corner pocket swing. And this is our intermediate class doing endings. Endings. Uh, we've had requests about how do I finish a song? Um, well, the old timers often just stopped and walked off the floor and had a great time doing it. Uh, but in modern days, people often like to punctuate or finish their song. And that's a, a simple little lunge that you can do that we just did on count one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. We just set it up with a down hold on seven and then a little breath on eight and then placing down on one. Uh, with this hand, often less is more. You don't, you don't need to like punch it out or do anything crazy with it. We always like to make the dance feel comfortable and controlled. Um, and if it's not the end of the song, maybe... Oh, boom. Out and in, out and in. So we talked about a little leg flick, but it's not a leg, I'm not flicking Emma's leg. I move her body forward to create that action. If I move my leg, it's kind of smoke and mirrors. I might use a little bit of the friction of the material in my pants on the side, but I'm not like moving her leg with that as a, as a, like a deliberate effort. Um, it's mainly the body movement creates that swing. Um, and then we did a little koala dip, a sit dip. Or one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. So I'm just stepping open on one, taking my feet wider. Take that breath on eight, place down in the middle on seven. Ideally, up I will. On one. Ideally, I'll have 100 percent of my weight in this one. Oh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. So I can actually let go. And uh, this is definitely not followers' responsibility to throw their weight. It's the leader's responsibility. If I take Emma into a deeper dip, I take Emma. Emma doesn't assume that that's what I want. This is just a sit and rotate on that axis. Yeah, this is for safety. This is critical that the followers never throw their weight at the leader. Next okay. we had... Uh, and we, we've used that same sit dip uh, from a throat. Oh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And we do our little sit dip on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wherever we come to aiming roughly for three. Um, I do like dark side throw where instead of stepping forward from the kick, I will take that kick and step back with it. Quick, quick, slow. My responsibility as always is to go straight forwards coming into that throw out rather than veering off either line. Yes, I pick the side that I choose and always come straight back at me like a rubber band slingshot. Okay. And but then we did, the, no, we used the long arm of the same, same thing, but with the long arm throw out. Seven, eight, one, two, three. And then we used one, if we keep this hand, seven, eight, we can roll into the side. And when we get a nice side connection, I can take him up for a little side dip. The safety. Little, little big not pretty work. If it's too much and I'm feeling unsafe, as he goes down, I can bring my other foot over to support myself. Yeah, if it's too far away, if we don't get snubbed up, and it's going to slide away. So that would be that would be the best. Yes. Thing. <laughs> and then we quickly talk about the other ending, Jason's ending. Oh yes, the very very common ending one, of dance. Three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is uh, the simplest ending. It's very common. A lot of people will use that little side slide. You can do a, a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a little maxi door up hold kick to transition into that if you like. We can just down hold on three and go for it. Um, that was class. This is class. Thank you. Thank you.